Welcome everyone to our weekly video. I'm here with the Collins and Dwyer family uh, to speak to you about CCD or religious ed education as it's called today. But this is our little family unit of all these wonderful movie stars. We all have our <laughs> dark sunglasses on. But I wanted to start with you, uh, Gail. Could you talk sure. a little bit about your experience as being a religious ed teacher? Of course. I remember coming here. I'm new here to the parish, parish. Father. And you stood up and you said, come on, we need some help. And I thought, you know what, this is what I could do. And I certainly enjoyed doing it. I've taught uh, two years here now, I guess it's been. Excellent. And I helped Riley's class, second grade during the uh, pandemic. But I really have met a lot of wonderful teachers who are grandparents as well. And then grandparents who pick up their children and bring them to the CCD. I think that's wonderful. Yeah, it's nice. You know, they help their children out. So I'm very happy to be with you. Thank, thank you, you and for inviting and, me. And thank you for saying yes, and thank you for being so generous with your time. And uh, like, like mother, like daughter, right? Uh, <laughs> we roped you in as well, right? Yes. Uh, yeah. Yes. I was trying to figure. I started with uh, Abby when she was in first grade, and so I did first and second grade, then first and second grade with Nora, then I went up to fifth and sixth, and now I'm back to first grade with Riley. Next year, second grade, and um, I really look forward to teaching the kids, getting back in the classroom. You know, at first it had to be a family affair because my little ones were small and my mother-in-law was wonderful in helping babysit the girls when I started mm -hmm. with Abby. And of course, with the support from my husband, um, it's been a great, great way to sort of rekindle my own faith yeah. as I, you know, experience the Bible stories and, you know, the simple, um, important messages of the Bible through the eyes of the kids. So I've really enjoyed it. And I think, you know, it's a wonderful um, opportunity for moms, dads, teenagers, grandparents, really any parishioner to come in and, and help with the kids. And it's one of those opportunities where the kids then get to see a variety of different role models. Exactly. I mean, the girls even had Sister Beatrice, which was wonderful. Oh, oh yeah, Sister Beatrice, Beatrice too. Wow. Yes. Very good, good. And now, Riley, so you're in first grade and you're going to second grade, so that means you get to get First Holy Communion next year, right? But what do you, you want to say anything to our parishioners? Because it's fun and it like um, you like get to know all about God. Okay, you get to know all about God. That is that's very true, Riley. And Nora, now Nora just had a birthday. Yeah. Very important. She had double digits, right? Yeah. Nora? So Nora, what would you like to share with the parishioners? Um, I like CCD because um, when you're reading in the books, they explain about all the hard words. They explain all the hard words so you understand them better. That's great, great. Now does Abby, now you're the last one. I'm going to give you the last word, Abby. Now what grade are you in right now? I'm in six, so I'm six. going on to seven. Okay, so you're going to the next stage of CCD, religious ed. Okay, so what do you want to share? I like CCD a lot because even though um, I get to see my friends, the teachers still make it fun so that we can interact with other people. So like we did word searches and puzzles to help us learn. Excellent. Well, I thank you all you ladies very much for coming on to this video. And to all of you parishioners, um, please register your children for Religious Ed. It just opened up. But also, too, we're always looking for catechists. And I just want to end with one last thought, which I don't know if you've heard yet. But Pope Francis, just last week, he uh, gave a speech and he also made a formal proclamation that we are now going to consider the mission of a catechist as one of the formal ministries in the church. So just like we have lectors right. and we have acolytes of these things, he right. said, we're going to do that now because we want to recognize the hard work of people like the two of you who give so much of your time and energy to there. So I want to let you know that soon that will become very official and you will be an official minister of the church oh, my goodness. Uh, to being a catechist. So Thank you, the Father fun news to share, with, you're welcome, the fun news to share with everyone. So let's say bye to everyone. Bye. See Hold you. Your sign up. Bye. Good, good girl.